should have an arch in their neck, their withers are equal to their elbow, and the elbow is equal to the chest. Um, but it also says that they have a long flowing coat, so that's why we don't take this to the elbow. Um, I'm going to come down and find the point of my shoulder, and there it is. So anything above that, I'm going to get rid of. Anything below it, I need to leave, okay? So I'm going with the 7F, and then I'm going to feel there's a bone right behind her ear, right there. And you don't want to go above that with your clipper work, because if you do, you're going to pinch your neck. So right above that, I'm working back at a 45 degree angle towards my elbow because I want to create the illusion that she has a better body than she has. Stop. And then if I want it a little shorter because I've already carted through it, I can come back with the 7F against. And then that just gives me a little more wiggle room when I go to blend by using the 7 instead of the 10 here. So here's my point of shoulder. I'm going to come down to that with my dog standing correctly, standing up. And in the front, we're going to go to approximately three fing two fingers above, two to three, 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 two to three fingers above the breastbone. Now, she's been taken a little bit shorter, so we're going to move that line up about where it should be because if I move it, take it down to here, then I'm going to expose the U-neck that she has, a little bit of one. So I'm going to go right in there, come straight up with the 7 blade, and because this is a buff dog, I'm going to use the 7F to keep from making clipper marks. Okay, we'll get to the, ne the face uh, in a little bit yet. So then what you want to do is if you take your fingers and go down, make a V over your breastbone. Anything inside stays. Anything on the outside of those fingers you get rid of. Okay, just kind of a rule of thumb there. I can see I can come right up into there. And so you can see this hair's been cut before. We're letting that grow back out. But there's your, your, your landmark right there. So, now then. I've already carted through all this before. And if I was going to compete with this dog in a grooming contest or she was in a dog show, I would go back now and grab my classic stripper. And the classic stripper is the finest of all the, or the magnetic stripper is the finest of all the classic strippers. It is very, very sharp. It will cut you and it will cut your dog. I like to use this as a box cutter before I ever use it on a dog. So it is very sharp. So be careful. Get you a box of Band-Aids when you start with those. So what I do, I can blend all this coat in with this classic stripper. Blend the short into the long. Just making sure that I've got her skin pulled tight around her neck. Pulling back at that 45 degree angle, working towards my shoulders. I want to make a nice arch in her neck. 